Hi, this is Wayne Mansfield. Uh, we're recording this on the 28th of February, so that's the day of the uh, Oscars, the uh, Academy Awards in the in the US. So it's just to give you a bit of a time if you're watching this a bit in the future. Uh, but it's also the last day of recording temperatures for the summer that we've had here in Perth. And today will be the 59th day in a row where the temperature during the day has been over 30 degrees Celsius, which in the old money is more than 90 degrees. And it's the 16th day in a row where the nighttime temperatures haven't dropped below 20. So in other words, it's been hot. Now, uh, the rest of Australia has been going through floods from Queensland to Victoria. That's uh, a massive area. Cyclones, uh, drought in some areas. Uh, and Western Australia, just apart from the hottest time ever recorded, uh, has also had some devastating bushfires. So Mother Nature is really not happy at the moment. And I was having coffee yesterday at the local uh, restaurant and there was a couple of guys there who we've, we meet every Sunday, rough looking buggers they are, but they're the union organisers for the, uh, the Builders Labourers Union, I think it's called the CFMMU, uh, and they were saying something's wrong, Mother Nature's not happy, uh, and they were talking about what was happening in Christchurch. So really times of uh, unusual circumstances. But looking back, it's probably much the same as any other year, but uh, it just seems like it's all queued up this time. But business must go on, as they say in the movie. So uh, I wanted you to be aware that in April, uh, we're doing our cold calling for scaredy cats and our power selling seminars in Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne and Perth. Uh, then I'm going to get back here and uh, catch a plane and go and do Twitter for Business. Uh, those sessions are going to be in Doha, which is the capital of Qatar, uh, that little country of 200,000 people who stole the World Cup for 2022 off us. Uh, then uh, across to Dubai and then some other sessions in Abu Dhabi. Uh, hopefully that's the part of the Middle East that's not being subject to the Twitter Facebook revolutions but we have operations there and it's pretty stable and uh, very wealthy and those particular countries do share their wealth with the people there as well. Now Facebook in the news everywhere uh, as I said they're still doing the Academy Awards so I don't know if it picked up any gongs in that. It certainly did in the other award shows over the last couple of weeks. I wanted to show you that this though. This is the book which the movie is based on. This is called Accidental Billionaires and I recommend uh, that you grab a copy of it. Uh, we'd recommend you grab the copy from Fish Pond, uh, which is Australia's largest online uh, bookshop. Uh, and it tells the background of the movie uh, The Social Network. It's based on court depositions, uh, on a couple of court battles, so we would imagine it's close to the truth. But it's the, the background of how uh, something that we didn't want, didn't know, um, has grown ev over the last four or five years into what's reputed to be worth close to a $100 billion business. Uh, and it is an interesting read. The movie is particularly interesting and what they say uh, is the social media uh, revolutions uh, started in uh, Tunisia about five or six weeks ago, went to Egypt, uh, in uh, Libya, in Bahrain, uh, right across the, uh, the top of Africa uh, in the, the Muslim African world. And it's interesting where you don't have Facebook, uh, the South Koreans are sending in balloons uh, little posters and saying uh, your country's cut off uh, uh, your television news to what's happening to the rest of the world so they're sending balloons with posters telling the North Koreans how people are bracing against their oppressors. But all these things are going on uh, and if you read the book you get a bit of a background of how uh, a jilted young man created something out of his aggravation with a, a young girl telling him he wouldn't get a girlfriend not because he was a geek but because he was an asshole. Uh, out of that was was founded Facebook and people who are in positions of power are claiming that's changing the face of the world. So that's all I've got time to share with you today. Uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Uh, this is Wayne Mansfield.
Thank you.